Hey Vision Chasers, it's Dr. Bird here. I want to talk to you about pace and why it matters to you as a student in the classroom. You know, pace is defined as a steady rate of movement over a certain period of time. Now pace can be fast, it can be slow, but it is steady and consistent over a certain period of time. You know, when Roger Bannister was practicing to run the first ever four minute mile, he had some friends help him uh, as he was practicing maintain a certain pace so that he would meet his goal in the end. And so how does that relate to you in the classroom? Here's how. Your teachers, all of your teachers, they have a certain uh, set curriculum and in that curriculum they're given a certain number of weeks in order to get through all of the units in the curriculum so that they can teach you everything uh, your Board of Education has determined you need to be taught. And so it's very, very important then that when you get your assignments, uh, those that take a certain amount of time, maybe you have to go home and complete them. It's very, very important that you're working at a nice and steady pace so that you can complete those assignments within that unit and ultimately do well on the test. So that's why it's very, very imperative that you don't waste time you know, looking at your phone when you could be working, uh, choosing to go out and hang out with friends when you could be working on a, let's say a project uh, that you've been given weeks to do. You need to make sure that with everything that you do in the classroom and, and homework and other long-term assignments that you maintain a certain steady pace in order to make sure that you get things done. It is, it's, very, it's a very bad thing to waste time uh, when you know that you could be spending that time doing things that really absolutely need to be done. So that's why pace matters. That's why classroom time is so important. It is so imperative that you pay attention in class. And whenever you get that urge to look at your cell phone or talk across the room to a friend, you have to remind yourself that you have to maintain a certain pace so that in the end, you'll end up accomplishing your goal just like Roger Bannister did when he maintained his pace and successfully ran the first ever four minute mile. So think about that. Pace is very important to you. And until we meet again, please keep chasing the vision. Bye.